Okay, here I am back at you this time. I got a good one for you. I want to explain to you the deal like this. You know, you might not believe it, but here's the deal. You guys and girls too, I see it. Walking around with your pants down below your butt, showing the tramp stamp in some cases, showing your drawers in some cases. It don't look good. You may think it look good. Your friend may laugh at you and you hope that it look good. But what's gonna happen down the road? You're young now. What's gonna happen when you go apply for a job or something uh, years from now, okay? And then they're gonna bring this up to you about the way you were dressed, dressed to impress. I dress tacky myself, but I don't dress like that. My old lady get mad at me for the way I look sometimes because she said I look tacky. Well, when I asked her to compare me with you, we walk around here with the tramp, tramp stamp they call them? Yeah. And the pants below your drawers? Think about it. I know your butt smell because you can't be cleaning them. Some of you wear the drawers two or three days at one time. They got to stand up by themselves. I can tell you right now. And the coats. Well, I'm not in a position to really talk about you just like that, but I want to explain to you this. This is America. People die every day to get here. You are here. And you're abusing the opportunity to be successful. Look around, you see people coming from all over the parts of the world and making themselves successful. Blacks are involved in it too. All young America, whether you're black, white, blue, or green, they go for all of you. Pull your pants up, get your head together before you lose your country. Pay attention to what's going on in life. Fun is just about over for a lot of you because you're being replaced, believe it or not. Look around who owned the business. Look around who got opportunity to do the things that they want to. You got them, but do you use them? I wouldn't hire a person if I own a business to come in there with their pants all down below their butt the way they're doing today, especially in a restaurant or something like that. How you gonna walk past somebody with your pants down and, and you're gonna supply them with food to their table? How you can do that? Smelling like that, looking like that. That's another thing, smoking. It's okay to smoke, that's what you do, that's your life. But how you can go outside and smoke a cigarette and then walk back in and you don't think the smoke is all over you, all over your breath, all over your clothes, all in your hair, get you some spray and spray that shit away. That's what you got to do. And pay attention, especially you guys who are walking around here with your pants down low. They setting the law now where they can charge you, convict you for wearing your pants down too low. Personally, I think that's kind of shady for you to be jacked up, set up behind the way you wear your clothes, but you got to try to pay attention. They only try to get you to get on the right side of life, the groove to help protect the country because most of the people here today, like so far my family and down the line, my mother, my father, they are gone wherever they have to go and their parents are gone wherever they have to go. Having to see my grandmother and having to see my mother and others who have passed on into wherever. I feel that this great country here are ours. We need to take a toehold over. And blacks who are here with the best opportunity in the world to be treated better than any other country you're gonna go to. That's why so many people die to get here. Believe it or not, you gotta stand up and appreciate being American. You gotta stand up and show them you love this country. You gotta make the changes that should be made in this country. And when you're not participating in things that make the country stronger, then it becomes weaker. You take a link out of your chain that no have the power to pull because the link is missing. Or you put a broken link in there, it's gonna stretch out, cause you to lose the grips. In other words, you got to give the grip to yourself. You got to prepare yourself for the future. If you don't prepare yourself now, you're gonna be left. Things that they learn in college today is gonna be obsolete three or four years when they come out. So you got to grab a hold of what's happening. I'm not telling a person not to go to school or college or something. That's a very good place to go because they're going to teach you to keep your clothes pulled up. But what I'm trying to explain is this. Stop playing games game with yourself. Look like somebody better than what you're doing. Butt pull up. You know what I'm talking about? Got the butt showing out. But what? That's the thing come from jail to make little boys out of you. Trying to tell me that you want to be one out of him? <laughs> but listen to me. Get on the good foot. Think about it. You don't look good when your pants down, your drawers showing. They stinking, they got stain all over them. And they fight because they tell you that they look like that. You wanna be a bully, go join the military, help protect the country, like they're help protecting you. And you're able to have the freedom that you want. 
to go around and do the stupid thing that you do. All I got to tell you is somebody watching you. Just try not to get caught up in the clown. It's like a fish getting caught on the line. You poke chop bone. You girls walking around here with clothes too tight, showing your second set of hips and lips up on the bottom top of your donkey. That's back to the ass, you know. Showing all your privacy. You're like a poke chop bone. You're waving around for the dog. You know when you go fish, you got to put something on the hook. But the fish you bite. Fish don't bite empty hooks. Do your food. So when you walk around out here showing your butt, these push-up bras, these too tight pants and too tight shorts and all this stuff where everything is showing, you're making a weak person weaker. And then you'll call them to respond. Believe it or not. Think about it. And oh yeah, while you're at it, think about your iPods. Keep them where you can keep your hands in your pocket. Because when you're out with them, texting while you're walking the street, there's people watching you. And now they are busting girls in the face, taking them. Can you believe that? How sorry some of the guys got? They won't work. They want to look good. What do they do? They catch you walking down the street. They take your iPod, iPad, your phone, whatever you got. Well, they got company trying to fix so they can stop taking that now. But stay tuned. I'll be back again. Chapter by chapter, I'm going to try to explain as I wash through this thing and get it ready to be ironed out. As I jump on the other side of jumping, I want to land on the good part of life. Check it out. Checkmate King 2. This is White Republic.